Yori Yori does it. Yos! pre-show i am jeff keely the main show is on the way at the top of the hour and i can't wait to share it with you but right now we're going to recap some of this year's nominees highlight what's on the way present some game awards Man, i don't want to see no damn nominees all their all the all their game of the year contenders are all bullshit trash games each year we try to build spider-man <laughs> Oh my god. Just show Metroid already! Metroid Trilogy and Metroid Prime, Bayonetta, Fail of Frame. We're expanding the reach of platforms, so you'll be able to watch it. I know you all want Power Stone Tree. It's important that we can have people around the world kind of share our night. We were live with the boat in New York. You know, gamers get to choose the winners alongside our judge board. And this year you can vote on a Discord server, you can vote on Twitter, Facebook. Even with your voice on Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant, we have, uh, I think, more new games being announced this year at the show than ever before, um, which is really exciting that a lot of studios are... We got no lighting system here. Sorry about it. Awards. One of the things we found oh last year that fans really liked were these giveaways and special incentives to kind of watch the show and earn things and games that they love. Uh, Steam, we did something called a game giveaway, which was amazing. And people just got excited because you were watching the show. Steam Santa, we just sort of dropped games into your account. Realistically, like, nobody cares about stuff like in, this. And we're expanding that um, in a lot of really interesting ways. We also did a Game Awards sale. And this yeah, is a chance is for around the world to get special offers full of shit. games on their favorite gaming system. And this year, we're working again with PlayStation Store, with Xbox, with Nintendo eShop, with Steam to create special offers on the nominees. And every platform will do this differently. There'll be some games that are across all, some only on certain ones. I hope that people will see a game in the show and say, oh, that's amazing. This just won. I want to go buy this game. Then I get a special offer on it tonight. Let me go grab it. And look, the stories that matter the most to me coming out of the show are sometimes when these game developers will call me up on the Monday after or a small indie team and say, you know what, Jeff? Like, it was cool we were in the show, but we actually sold like a lot of games this weekend. That makes all the hard work worthwhile for everyone on the team, I think, to know that these developers have a platform and we can drive an audience to check out a game that they're really going to love. Now, 2018 was an incredible year in gaming. And we say it every year, but this industry continues to get bigger and better. So we've been using this tagline, Worlds Will Change, in our promo campaign. And I think it started with some people thinking, like, this is the you know announcement of this game. But really, the tagline, to be honest with you, what it means... Holy is shit, man! Existing games have a Start a show already! ...unique in different ways. I look at some of the in-game storytelling that Fortnite's done with the rocket launch and the cube and all these other moments and how other games have evolved, you know, No Man's Sky, it's like nominated this year and it's like, oh, it's like no, nobody game gives a crap about so No Man's One Man's Slide. The idea that the games that we initially one month's turn. over time, it used to be you would, you know, get your cartridge, get your CD, play the game, move on. Now you keep those games in your systems and what you're going to see this year at the Game Awards is a lot of... You're going to see a lot of bullshit cover games. shooters. That's what you're going to see. Our show too, in interesting ways. So that's kind of a tease of that theme that the world you know and a lot of walking simulators. Anymore after the game awards. PlayStation games, walking simulators. <laughs> we often get asked how we pick the winners for the game awards. The nominees are selected by a jury of press from jury a from IGN. Five different <laughs> They often have staffs that have played all these games. So we think that's the best way to sort of survey everything out there in a very neutral, agnostic way and say, hey, here are the, the games that we think are the best of the best. Those lead to the nominees, which have been announced. And then the winners are selected by a blended vote between the jury and also the public that gets to vote and help influence it. Some people say, like, well, why don't you do 100% fan voting? And a lot can be socially engineered, and I don't want awards to go to 
games that just happen to, you know, be able to have more Twitter followers. Fan voting. Buy a bunch of ads yeah. to somehow convince people to vote for them. So I really think it's important it is fan voting. that the right games gonna end up and we bring all the good bro games. Process. Like Fortnite, Crash Game. With um, voting for the Game Awards. Game of the Year is such a competitive category in 2018. So will it be Marvel's Spider-Man or Red Dead Redemption? <laughs> Spider-Man! <laughs> Troll of War? Yeah, Celeste should win Game of the Year. Honestly, you can find Oh my god. This, the list here is probably the most horrible list in gaming history. This Game of the Year category is. Realistically, it should only be. It's Simo Blade? Or. Project uh, Octobat Traveler. World Premiere. Give us a Metroid. Woo! That's how you do it. That's how you start a presentation. Travis touchdown! It's Travis. Nope. Dancing devil. This looks like one of those test games from Sega. This is, this is an indie garbage game. Come on, Nintendo, you can do better than that. Don't give us garbage. Microsoft Theater for the Game Awards 2018. Everyone ready for a big show? <laughs> this is so exciting. We have our biggest show ever coming up at the top of the hour. There is so much news, so many surprises. The Game Awards Orchestra is live around the world. It's on the Switch. Forty-five platforms. What a bad game. Everyone watching it. China and India and all across the world. I know it's late in Europe. <laughs> this guy likes promoting China all the time. Damn communists. I know everyone's anticipating <laughs> things. Stay tuned. And a lot of special guests. We're going to kick off the show tonight, or the pre-show, before we get to the main show at the top of the hour, with a guy who made some headlines last year, Joseph Ferris, back here at the Game Awards. <laughs> <laughs> we finally get you early in the night, oh Joseph. Oh, my God. It's actually nice to be the first guest, to be honest with you. Actually, you should have the award. Look what you have put together, man. Why the hell? These are all shooters. How the hell do we all end up in an action game category? It's like this. Like this list is all bullshit. Oh my god. Best action game is Dead Cells. Dead Cells. Dead Cells is a good game. Thank you so much. The stage is yours. 
Yeah, I had, I had a uh, gameplay impression for that stuff. So. Yeah, I prepared a speech for this award, actually. Yeah. So, Just a special talk for the whole team back in France. Yeah. Uh, hopefully watching us at 3 a.m. in the morning. Basically, uh, plays I like a 2D are Dark Souls great. game, yeah, Dark Souls clone, yeah, and Demon's Souls clone. Congratulations. Repeat all the time you when you die. It's not a special, actually. Yeah, uh -huh. and a special thanks uh, for our incredible community of fans. Uh, it may sound a bit cliche, but we couldn't have done it without them. Yeah. So thank you so much for your support. Want to say something also? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. It was, it was, I like your hat, man. It's cool, man. Yeah. Oh, thank I you. Mean, it's really cool. No, yeah, it's really amazing. Uh, yeah, really unexpected, and we are really proud for our fans and all. Everyone who loves the game. Uh, the game was incredible. You guys did a great job. Thanks for coming all this way to the Game Awards. Thank you very much. Congratulations just... on your first of many Game Awards, we hope. <laughs> thanks very much, guys. All right, thank you. Congratulations. Joseph, thank you as well. Good luck tonight. I was going to say, we got another trophy maybe with your name on it. Right? Thank you very much, Joseph Ferris. All right, uh, we've got some more world premieres to get to you uh, here before we get to the main show at the top of the hour. Uh, right now, we're going to take a look at the first game from a new studio up in Montreal, Canada, Typhoon. It's published by 505 Games with support from Epic Games and Makers Fund. Check out the announcement of this title. Roll to me, It's a mobile or a shooter? <laughs> it's a shooter. I predict it's a shooter again. Once again, we would like to thank you for joining the Pioneer program here at Kicker Aerospace. For the eight-year running, Kitrick has been only the fourth best interstellar exploration company. Welcome world, interstellar game. Oxygen level is critical. Type of games are the ones that yeah, they come and go. They're not trash games. This is really bad. Right, so the the start. Savage Planet. I'm now here with Alex Hutchinson, one of the founders of the new indie team at Typhoon Studios. So first of all, Alex, welcome to the show. Uh, why did you guys start this new studio in Montreal? Uh, I think it's that moment in life, you know, we've been doing this about 15 years for myself, making games for other people, so it's incredibly uh, amazing to see a game we built on our own from nothing with friends of ours in the business, and to see it on yeah, at your show on the big screen is, is super fulfilling. So, in a weird way, that's the, that's the start of the reason why. Alright, well, we're, we love supporting new teams. Tell us a bit about Journey to Savage Planet, kind of a teaser trailer, so what kind of game is it? Yeah, so everyone, and they watch the teaser and they always say, is it a, is it a, a, you know, a battle royale? No, it's absolutely not a battle royale. Is it a survival game? No, it is not. Uh, it's an adventure game. You get dropped on a, a strange alien world by a company called Kindred Aerospace, who are very proud to be the fourth best uh, interstellar space exploration company. So they drop you there with absolutely no gear, high hopes and no ability, and they hope that you can uh, solve the, uh, the mystery of what's on the savage planet. Okay, and uh, how can we find out more about this game? We'll get updates. Uh, so we're not going to show much gameplay until next year, but we're very excited to do it. So we'll show you gameplay and uh, uh, all kinds of new bits and pieces as soon as we start next year. All right, so uh, get ready for 2019. Alex, thank you so much for coming down and uh, showing your game for the first time here at the Game Awards. We really appreciate it. All right, uh, now we're going to move on to present another award now uh, for the best role-playing game. And the nominees in this genre category are Dragon Quest XI, Monster Hunter World, Nino Kuni 2. This is the problem. Nino Kuni 2. Who the fuck played that? No, no one played that damn game. It was trash. And this is the word I get to give it to Octopath, man. Uh, best role playing game. Let me open this one up. Castle everything. Give and it to single best play. Best role playing game goes to Monster Hunter World. Oh my god, man. Oh, guys, how are you? I'm so disappointed with the other one right now. 
I'm so disappointed with the world right now. How does it feel? <laughs> Follow along. How does it feel? It's very great that we actually were able to come to come from Japan. It's catered to our Western gamers only. They're chilling. GRPGs. That's, that's why we don't have any. That's why GRPGs right now are just dying right now. I'm glad everything is, every JRPG is on the Switch right now. Every JRPG is it's all on Nintendo right now. It's, it's dead. It's dead on the PlayStation. What you're going to admit to words like this. On this They're killing the, the, the JRPG genre. Right their first Twitter gaming award. You the fans and no wonder you get garbage games all this, the, all the time. This year was That's why a lot of people, Spine is garbage. That's why a lot of people right now are angry all the time. There are the JRPGs, there are the good games. There's no Legend of Dragon, no Breath of Fire, no Chrono games. They're killing it. Let's you predict the winners throughout the show. Uh, yeah, these people, the they're killing the general. So you can go online to the Game Awards channel, pick your winners throughout the night, and at the end of the show, we'll share the final leaderboard and see who predicted the most awards correctly. Uh, all right, well, we've got some other awards to get to now. It's been an absolutely huge year for esports, and coming up at the top of the hour, the show, the best esports player award will be presented by Open by HP. But right now, it's my honor to announce some of the other winners in many of the esports categories that we added this year. Let's show. that category, uh, so the best no, no team, a shit about Here it. are the nominees. Cloud9 has won this, I think, the past two or three years. So we've got Astralis, Cloud9, Fnatic, London Spitfire, and OG. And the winner this year, again, is Cloud9. So congratulations to Jack and the entire organization of Cloud9. Now for the best esports game. The nominees this year were CSGO, Dota 2, Holy Fortnite, crap. League of Legends, Overwatch. All right, it's a crowd favorite, I guess. And the Game Award goes to Overwatch, the best esports game. I think that one last year as well. All right, next up, the best esports event. The nominees is a new category this year, the E-League Major Boston 2018, back in January. Evo 2018, this summer in Vegas. The League of Legends World Championship. The Overwatch League Grand Finals and the International 2018 up in Vancouver. And the League of Legends World Championship wins. Congratulations to LOL. All right, best esports host. Those nominees were Alex Golden Boy Mendez, Alex Machine Richardson, Anders Depotere. I know she's in Las Vegas tonight, and uh, Paul Red Eye Challenger. And the game award goes to. Shocks, congratulations. Next up, the best esports coach. Those nominees are Rebert, Paracel, Zonic, mm, I can watch this Falco, I want to play, I want to play the show. Cannon, and YNK. Mm. And the best esports coach, as voted by the fans, Rebert. Congratulations to him. Mm, I don't want to get subscribed on this. Category. Now, best esports moment. This is the top moment as voted on by the jury and fans. First up was C9's comeback win in triple overtime versus FaZe, G2 beating RNG, KT versus IG base race, and OG's massive upset of LGD, and Sonic Fox, who's a nominee for best esports player, side switch against No One in DBZ. And the winner is C9's comeback win in triple OT versus FaZe. 
All right, well, we've got more esports coming up in the main show, but right now we've got another world premiere. This is a favorite game of mine from a couple of years ago, and they reached out to me a couple weeks ago and said, hey, we've got something more we're doing we want to share with you at the Game Awards. So check that, check this out. I think you'll like it. World premiere. Here we go, here we go. This is the story of a video game called oh, no. The Standard Parable. It's an indie game again. Oh my god. I hate, I hate the show. They're always showing the crap. And this year's winner for Best Narrative is... The Last of Us. The Last of Us. The Last of Us. Papers, please. The Last of Us. Papers, please. The Last of Us. Yes, it was thrilling to be so unanimously recognized by our peers. Which is why we've locked the game's source code away, where it can never be touched by the greatest hand of capitalism. A pristine time capsule of perfect artistic integrity to be preserved for... Wait. What do you mean we never put the game on consoles? Of course we put it on consoles. We didn't. Excuse me a moment.
people is people. Where are you I don't know where you, you get people like this. These are the games whose stories captivated they, they us. barely have characters. any knowledge in video games. Twists and profound they never played Fatal Frame. Here are the nominees. Bread of Fire, they don't know any of that. The Chrono Games. Narrative. They're gonna put people like this here. We're gonna start with another bullshit game from Sony. Trash game. Another trash game. Another trash game. What oh, trash? Walking simulators. Crash, 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 crash. to Red Dead Redemption 2. Thank you from the entire team Crazy of Rockstar that to all our Red fans Dead. who voted for us. How many um, years? We love to tell years? stories just as much as we love. Crazy yeah. worlds, and it's been incredible seeing people connect to the game and go on Arthur's journey for themselves. Um, I'd li like to thank our amazing cast. They brought this to life in ways we didn't even imagine. And you can see tonight and across this category, it's been an outstanding year for games and storytelling, and there's still so far we can take it. So uh, on to the next one. Thank you very much. <laughs> Tonight we're going to take a look at the future of games with world premieres. Now, some of them you've probably heard of, and some of them you oh definitely God. haven't. We've got some good surprises tonight. Please give us this is one of those that you don't want to see coming. Enjoy. Uh, <laughs> oh, no! Oh, 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 what? Oh, this Lego. Kids, your stupidity may have doomed the universe. Wouldn't be the first Marvel Captain? Oh, they fix it! They fix Marvel vs. Capcom! Who's our master shall They fix it! Oh no, what the hell? Is this a Square? The Square Enix game? RPG from Marvel? It's a ja I can guarantee that it's a Japanese game. It's a Japanese game. If we do it as a team. It's just Marvel. Oh, oh my god, that's an old one. Holy cow. What? They paid for something like this! I I'm, shall be waiting. How much? Fuck, this is expensive. They, they got something like this. Ah oh, man! It's gonna. This is gonna kill a lot of fanboys. Uh, this is gonna kill Sony fanboys and Xbox fanboys. It's crazy. They paid Marvel for this. Get Marvel Alliance.
they should have went to the mean the territorials. They should have went to that era. This is the first era. But it's cool, it looks cool. Very interesting. Yeah, yeah, I guess I mean the tutorials. So it's not, they're, they're evolving, that's the story. They're gonna evolve. Interesting. It's a good indeed. A good, good, good um, concept. Oh, commercial again. That's Bandicoot. Trophy of your own. Thank you very much, Crash. Uh, this is the standard issue Crash crate. Should I yeah, you see, it's said they're going to make a new CTR game. Yeah, just run it. Yeah, I got a launch show. I'm just going to open it very professionally. Uh, game that's, that's good. That's good. Uh, this shows oh, wow, coming a drag already. This, this kind of looks familiar. Does it now? Booyah, yeah, Grandma. Crash Team Racing. Booyah. Let's check out the world premiere. Crash Team Racing. Switch, 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 switch. Chose the wrong console again. That's a, a time exclusive. Star Beast. <laughs> tell you about a boy. Vin Diesel Star Beast. Please send your questions to the air rescue. Double fine. Team Schaefer. Finally. Cycle Nuts 2. Finally. Don't forget my canoe. Nobody even knows that game anymore. <laughs> oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh no! Oh what? Ah oh, no! I thought it was Metroid. Ah oh, man, this trash persona. Garbage. Thing 
to steal a treasure. Have you already Trash. Seen Probably a switch for it. Invited. Invited to steal the greatest treasure of all. Cut. This is the next DLC. Persona. It's kind of stupid that we don't have Persona on Smash. I mean, I mean, on Switch. That DLC though, Challenger Pack 1, yeah. Joker. Um, I wish it was Aegis, or Aegis. Well, whatever. <laughs> for, the, for the P5 fans, I mean. But, um, it's kinda weak. For a uh, representative oh, of Atlas. Ah, uh oh, here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Quite the surprise. So, uh, alright, so Super Smash Brothers coming out tonight, but it looks like, uh, I know, a great choice of shirt here, Reggie. Oh <laughs> no, here we go, Ah, 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 Metroid! Metroid, Metroid! Bang, in this game. Right, so we've said that Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. It is the biggest crossover in video game history. Dare I say, the biggest crossover in entertainment. And, and, uh, and so, <laughs> and so, yes, you know, the the uh, the games about to launch. We're super excited. We're super excited to give the fans the opportunity to summon a persona yes. into the game. Amazing. All right. So uh, then you said. Hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on now. <laughs> Correct. And so this gives you a flavor of how we're approaching the DLC. So the DLC, there's going to be five characters. You gotta get the light ready. You gotta get stage. The super light. The super switch ready. Music. These are going to be characters. The super switch that ready. Are new to the series. You give me my Metroid. Just like Joker. Give me my so Bayonetta tree. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Super Lash! Super Lash! We're super excited. Oh, Super! You got Super! Fans can go and they can get the fighters pass to get uh -oh. all of the five. Yeah, the mega reaction. To come to the series. The disco, the, the disco light, the disco light. I would think even more exciting because <laughs> tonight Smash is about to launch, right? Smash is about to launch, yes. and uh... the one that <laughs> he knows it. He's got the he's got. Look at the shirt, look at the shirt, he's got the Metro shirt. He got the Ridley, Ridley shirt. Oh shit, man. Smash is just minutes away. Alright, well, Reggie, you've been here every year for us for the Game Awards. Oh no, no, don't do this to me, man. No, no. No, don't do this to me. Head to the stage for the Game Awards Orchestra, a little something for Super Smash Brothers. Reggie, great to see you. Enjoy. Aw, man, no. Aki Hikimar here with a quick announcement. This will be my first mega giveaway. All you need to do is subscribe to my channel. And once we reach a goal of 100,000 subscribers, one lucky winner out of the 100,000 subscribers will get a chance to win a Nintendo Switch and Zelda, ARMS, and Splatoon 2. So please click that subscribe button and get a chance to win all these awesome prizes.